From Kian Nasiri's Derby Day hat trick to some spectacular goals, one more notably scored by Alvaro Vasquez last night of Kerala Blasters. It's been a week of plenty of action and plenty of emotion in the Hero Indian Super League. And to discuss that and all that more, I have with me, as usual, Polasthar, Shaiju Damodran, and Kaushik Varun. Joining me once again, gents, we have a lot to get through. There is a lot of meat that needs to be bit through and a lot of things that need to be digested. But first of all, I wanted to ask Shaiju Ketan because uh, he does look fresh. He does look fresh from last night, but I doubt he got much sleep from all of the crackers of the Kerala Blasters FC fans celebrating the win last night. Shaiju Ketan, was it uh, was it a comfortable sleep last night for you? <laughs> <laughs> so much noise in the crackers, huh? It's, it's actually actually uh, a very very good afternoon to all of you, Suyash, uh, uh, Pulast, and uh, Varun. Uh, yes, uh, see, uh, it was a brilliant, a brilliant uh, day for Kerala Blasters yesterday night. And you know, Pura uh, Rath Me, whole night, uh, I was actually receiving messages and calls from the fans. Just they were cross checking about the distance of that Alvaro goal. Because, because during the during the live commentary, you know, it's a crazy, it's a, or doing commentary itself is a crazy thing. So when we saw a goal like this, I used 70 meter first, then I came to 60. Then the suddenly people are saying, sir, ek to bolo, 60 or yeah, 70, <laughs> yeah, 50 or 55. So it was really a crazy night. But at least we know that it was the farthest distance that a goal is scored, uh, has been scored in the Hero Indian Super League uh, ever since its inception. 59 meters yeah. to be precise. Uh, Pulas, we also had that Kian Nasiri hat trick for which you were commentator that day. Yeah. Just on that, we'll we'll dissect the goal later. Of course, we'll have his goal playing as well and later in the show. But out of all of the adulation that he's received, important to to keep a level head still about the young lad. Ah, uh, see, I think I think you know this sport allows us to dream, doesn't it? Uh, it allows us to yeah. get excited about the future. It, it, you have to think twice and say, oh, okay, I might have to keep a level head and, you know, yeah. not get ahead. But at the same time, I think we can allow ourselves to, you know, get excited about the future. We can allow ourselves to yeah. pile on the superlatives for now. Obviously, we will see what happens. He's still young. It, it's yeah. we, don't, we don't want to build him as a hero of the future. But at the same time, in this moment, it's just too soon to, you know, say that, okay, let me contain myself. I think now is still the time to ride the wave and say, okay, we have... We have something special here. Yeah, and I think yeah. it is totally okay to get a little bit carried away. No, no problem there. Uh, someone who hasn't actually gotten carried away is, uh, is, is senior Jamshed Nasiri, who, who Varun actually had the fortune of, of meeting uh, a few days back, didn't you, Varun? Exactly. Like, uh, I really enjoyed it because, you know, I've seen him in the Maidan, you know, coaching the juniors. I have heard stories about him, like being a legend, you know, from my dad. And I, actually, you know, meeting him, I, thank God I have this profession so I could really interview him, meet him. And it was lovely because he's known to be the East Bengal legend and, you know, his son is performing so well for the other colors, like the Mariners. So it's like a complete package coming out of the family. And the best part, you know, I got to know, like... Uh, uh, Kian never discusses about football and you know how to play and where to run and the shots that all he takes. He never discusses all that with his dad. Because the normal discussions and the last time he, they discussed football was, you know, before uh, he went into the bubble before November. So that right. was the last time Kian discussed football with Jamshed Nasiri. Yeah, maybe that's, that's what right. keeps the pressure off his shoulders. And when you have right. a surname such as Nasiri, uh, yeah. you do well to reduce as much pressure on yourself and be a little kinder to yourself because so, it's, it's yeah, easy to get yeah. wrapped up in, in that entire in that And that's entire where, expectation. sorry Suesh, but that's where Juan Ferrando comes in. That's where Jamshid Nasiri comes in. You know, they come yeah. in and say, okay, you know what? Great hat trick, but now get your head down hmm. and, and, you know, work for the future. But as fans, as neutrals, you can allow yourself a little bit of leeway in terms of, you know, appreciating the moment. Yeah, and, you know, and someone else who, who ticks all the boxes. Yeah, Shai Chetan. Yeah, and also when when we when we talk about this Kian Nasiri and uh, uh, Jamshed Nasiri story, uh, see last week we saw yet another father and son, father sitting as an assistant manager of the team and son playing in the starting lineup, Suhail Pasha and Sabir Pasha. Right, right. 
right no absolutely so you you do get these nice uh, stories and of course he went and embraced him on the touchline as well so that was a really nice moment uh, to see mm. as well but someone else who ticks all the boxes as i was saying previously about hey, having played under juan fernando having had great expectations on him and continues to have great expectations on him and being a prodigious talent we have joining us on this show mohammed nevel of fc goa and uh, nevel you have of course been been very very good it's been your breakthrough season in the hero isl uh, this season but first of all tell me how are you doing is everything well is everything all right with you yeah yeah i'm doing well i'm doing well right now yeah i have got so, covid a couple of days ago but um, i i have recovered really well yeah no i mean uh, of course wish you a speedy recovery and just more on that nebel of course we'll, we're going to come to all your performances in the hero isl this season but i want to bring it back initially to your to your days of past you know how you kind of came through the ranks and you were involved with the reliance foundation young champs academy as well uh, i believe so why don't you take us through your journey starting from before rfyc and then you know going through the ranks and how do you exactly end up joining fc goa can you just tell us a bit more about streets of calicut uh, so i used to play a lot of like 3v3 5v5 uh, tournaments it's really tough <laughs> and then i joined a club in uh, calicut called marian malabar i was there for like a year or something and then i went to uh, vp satyan sokra school that's also in calicut uh, that was like one of my turning point in my life then from there i uh, got a chance to play in reliance foundation young champs yeah uh, that's why like dream oh, see, you, you can see uh, on your screen over there that's that's a young nemel for you over there you, was this uh, how long was this uh, into your uh, stay at rfyc when was that picture taken uh it was like for more than 4 years i was at R- rfyc right right and and how was the entire experience for you uh, nemel you know working under the coaches at rfyc how much did you improve as a player over there so first of all i'd like to thank mrs neeta ambani and all the coaches and staffs of rfyc for like giving me this wonderful opportunity and it was like really good over there everything the facilities they all also like give importance to academics not only in football yeah so that's why, like i was an average average student always <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i would say you're above average on the pitch though you're you're more than above average on the pitch <laughs> yeah so it was a like, really good they helped me in all the ways i like i learned a lot of techniques uh, tactics and also mentally yeah yeah it was really good that that's great to hear nebel you know now and all of the things that you did end up learning at rfyc and and beyond in your career as well leads to you doing things like these on the pitch just take a look at this piece of skill that you came up with in the hero isl earlier this year First of all, what did you make of the choice of music? Or uh, did it match up to the skill? <laughs> uh, I don't know what I was thinking at that, that moment. You know, like, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to like go past him and cross the ball, but I yeah. did like, <laughs> yeah, it happened. <laughs> Yeah no i mean most things just happen and and footballers play so much on impulse right for us i mean it's so much more about impulse yeah. but i do believe you have a couple of questions to ask nemel about his skill set and in particular about his balance yeah absolutely i think uh, you you saw from that skill as well that i think balance is so important to you know you you've got the in the body type where you know you 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 have a low center of gravity but it's very hard to shake you off the ball when you have it and you have right foot left foot you you use both your feet in that skill do you do something for balance or have you always had that particular aspect in your game or have you really worked extra to have a but like i do everything for football is to just wake up go to gym or do some stretching in the morning or evening in the training and visit uh, physios often so that's what 
And and obviously you picked up a lot of things from the RFIC, but then in the Spanish adventure that you had later on, what is the one thing that stays with you that you learned from Spain? The one thing that you will continue to apply in your game that you learned in Spain? Uh, so I train under elite coaches and players from different countries. I I got to be really calm in the pitch. I was like really uh, before going to Spain. Uh, do things hurry so I started doing everything calmly uh, in the pitch okay yeah that, that's a great mental uh, strength uh, Suyash I think you know if even if you look at that uh, if you look at his goals even what he did, did at the Durand and even now coming up in the Hero ISL that, that composure on the ball I think that's a great answer to pick up that composure to be, the ability to stay calm on the ball is, is fantastic I think in Spain you have that and he's got that which is wonderful yeah. to see and very very calm uh, while speaking to us as well right now. He's he's almost yeah. this this zen like uh, demeanor. I mean, like, do do you also meditate? Is that a part of your? Uh, <laughs> oh, I tried. I tried actually, but I didn't really <laughs> continue doing it. Uh, no, no. Okay. I know that Shaju Chetan has uh, has something to ask you about that particular goal that you scored, don't you, Chetan? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, thank you. And uh, hi, Namil. Hi, hi. Hope hope you had a great lunch today. So I want to ask you about that Durant Cup goal. You already, you scored four goals in the Durant Cup. It yeah. was a memorable performance for a youngster like you. So regarding about that great goal, share, kindly share with that experience of your Durant Cup, brilliant Durant Cup memories of the season. Actually, like that was my first tournament after joining FC Goa. And all thanks to FC Goa for believing in me and giving me minutes in the Durant Cup. So... I don't know. I just wanted to show who I am in the tournament and wanted to score more goals and provide assists. And I just did what I wanted to do. So I'm so happy for that. <laughs> like like uh, the Polas asked already about this question. I also observed you. You can use both your legs, right and left, which is actually which is actually I think it's a natural blessing. Which you got right from your uh, starting of the football career. So anything you worked on it uh, to to make it more 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 uh, uh, precious or powerful. This is both uh, using the both right and left. So actually, my father used to play football when he was small, and he also uses both legs. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because of that, I also got the <laughs> same gene. So uh, that's why I'm using the both legs. But at first, at starting, I thought that everybody can use the uh, use both feet. But then I slowly realized that it's like a blessing, you know. You you played the under eighteen level in Spain, right? Sorry. You played the under eighteen level in Spain. Yes, under eighteen. Yes, yes, yes. So how was the how was the experience? Have you have you had a, 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 any have you got any chance to meet your idol there in Spain, Lionel Messi? Yeah. Yeah, actually, like I had a match against FC Barcelona youth team. So that day, <laughs> this story happened. Like when I was going to the La Masia ground with my friends, and we, we were waiting for other fans to arrive. But then suddenly a car arrives and inside Messi is driving. <laughs> so I got really crazy, and <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know what to whom to call. I don't know, but my. Uh, the face expression of my friends were like normal. Like they they see every like often. So I was really gone crazy that time. Demil, did he did he have a glow around him when you saw him? Did he did he almost have this white halo aura around him? Like aura. Yeah, I I was gone <laughs> blank that time. <laughs> I, no, I just I mean, I'm, saw I'm, him I'm, for like five seconds or five seconds or something. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure any of us, if we're in that position, we it would have the same. Especially Pulas, you know, he's he's he was telling me about how much of a uh, Messi fanboy he is. So, uh, so yes, I, I mean, you know, you're not you're not uh, alone, Nemil. You're in the same boat. But we've spoken a bit about the Durant Cup goal. Let's just take a look at it once again to to refresh people's memories of how that goal actually happened. Take a look. Of playing on bigger, grander stages, Nemil. Past the first challenge, Nemil keeps going. Past the second challenge, and Nemil, oh, wonderful, Mohammed Nemil. That start a career. These are the moves, and of course, 
turn potential into reality. Mohamed Nemil, past one, past two, and a cheeky dink over the keeper. And some days he is just unplayable. Varun, you know the thing I like most about that goal is that at no point of time did he feel like he had to pass the ball. He, he had that belief and confidence in his ability to go and, and take two men on and then chip the keeper. Exactly. He has that confidence and it was like totally visible and we expect a lot of more goals from Neville. Uh, but Neville, you know, I have a, a, a different kind of a question, you know, to lighten up things. I would like to ask you, like you have been with your team and your staff and it has been quite long, you know, like it's no more uh, friends, they are more of a family now. So, who has been that support and inspiration and, you know, who has been the naughtiest in that bubble in your team, uh, if you would like share it with us? I mean, almost like all the players helped me so much, especially the Spanish players and also as, uh, as well as the Indian players. In years, I learned so many things from them mm. on the pitch as well as off the pitch. So, like it's been difficult like this moment in the bio bubble, we can't even go out. <laughs> And also, we had almost uh, every player had COVID uh, recently. It was tough. Now, it's been calm recently. <laughs> Super. And you didn't mention who's the naughtiest. It seems you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how's the atmosphere like in the dressing room? How do you prepare for the matches? You know, like we see you on the field. We don't see the, you know, backstage pictures. So how's it like, Neville, you know, off the field of play and especially inside the dressing room? So, I talk to everyone, but in the but in the dressing room, I don't really like uh, like to talk much. I like to like motivate myself every time. The dressing room, I just sit and like uh, maybe sometimes I sit with someone and talk about the game, or else I just sit uh, sit uh, sit alone and just think about the match, what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, Varun, uh, uh, mm. you can hear my voice from, from the netherworld right now. Yeah, <laughs> right now. But the thing about Nemil is that he says that he doesn't speak a lot in the dressing room. But, you know, while covering games in the Hero ISL, you do have the, 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 the luck and the privilege to actually watch players, uh, how they prepare and, and even their rondos and warm-ups. And let me tell you, out of mm. all the teams I've seen so far, FC Goa, before the match starts, they have this small patch of grass where they go and, and, and kind of do these rondos and keep you up. Never, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> and let me tell you, these guys are the, the most fun and the noisiest at the same time because all it takes is one nutmeg. All it takes is one nutmeg for the entire group to just be heard at the, right at the other end of the stadium as well. So, so Nemil, who is the best at, at that little pre-game uh, rondo and, and you know activity that you do on the pitch? <laughs> yeah, it's like we have a lot of fun in the yeah yeah like do, while they do. do the warm up. So who's yeah, the like, best, who's the best just, at uh, who's the best at nutmegging the other person in the squad? Uh, <laughs> he is. And like uh, it's him. He, 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 he's being shy. He's yeah, being shy. You're not him. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the name. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. So, so who 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 would that be, Lemon? Who would that be? Is that you? I can name like five play five to six players. Give it to us then. Give us give us all of them. Is it uh, is yeah. it uh... Chote, Romario, Papuya, Christy, and who else? Uh, Devendra. <laughs> and you know whoever you didn't name. You're going to have to face them later on because they'll be like... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, now, now let's see how, how quietly you sit in the dressing room after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, see, but it's, it's, it's all... It's see, all Nemil, I have a question complimenting with this subject. Uh, you also remembering the visual of Edubedia. Uh, in the match against Bengaluru, FC Goa versus Bengaluru match, after that, uh, Suresh Wangjam getting that second yellow card, suddenly the camera panned to Edu Bedia and he was uh, sitting on the ground and he was doing like this. Milkausko, Milkausko, Milkausko. What kind of what kind of person actually this Edu Bedia off the ground? Uh, 
he's really smart like as everybody knows that he's really smart so like i don't know what he was thinking at that moment when he did that but of the pitch he is really good he he helps everyone uh, all the young players and he he's like funny guy you know he makes fun with like everyone in the physio room or something when he enters like he do something that makes everyone laugh yes uh, uh, what are the things that you take and pick up from his game nemel like what are what are the what are the qualities that edubedia possesses that that you want to imbibe in your own game he like out of 10 balls he like he loses just one or two balls that's he never lose much balls yeah. and he he's the playmaker i would say that he he uh, how to say you know uh, yeah, i don't he, know he, he keeps things yeah. running in midfield yeah but but nevil yeah. are you are you also do you also want to be a playmaker what's your best position because i've seen you you've played uh, as a wide midfielder on the left and right you've played in the hole uh, just behind the striker sometimes you've played alone on your top as well as a false nine and you also drop deep uh, sometimes i know you're still young you're 19 and your position might change in the coming years but what is your preferred what is your favorite pos- position what do you think is your best my position my favorite position is attacking midfielder number 10 <clears throat> okay there we go case closed oh, sir <laughs> so 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 that was a nice answer attacking midfielder so i am complimenting again that question from polus what's your favorite position in calicut whether it is a mananjara the beach the milk sarbath <laughs> the chettais the mitai teru mananjara where where it is actually the position of calicut your favorite position in calicut my home <laughs> <laughs> so 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 shall you take all of these all of these places that you mentioned are they, are they famous spots in calicut that uh, yeah. that nemil yeah, yeah. might not have had the fortune of visiting because of course he I, i'm assuming you have a very strict diet now and you can't really indulge in uh, <laughs> in the things that you really let i don't think he can have milk sherbets anymore exactly <laughs> <laughs> but but what's your favorite cheat meal nemil if, if there was one thing after hmm. after you know after yeah. after after a game or of following a strict diet when you let yourself lose finally what is the one thing that you really indulge in let's say parotta and beef curry ah uh, there well it is done. there it is hmm. there it is you know i'm not i'm not sure what uh, what derek pereira would make of that i'm sure he's listening to this and uh, and and or he will listen to this but you know if you continue to play as well as you're doing maybe you're allowed a few cheat meals here and there and lastly nemel i just wanted to ask you a bit about playing under of course juan fernando and derek pereira now you've played under hmm. both coaches uh what have you learned under each of them and what do you continue learning under derek pereira i mean like both the coaches have like similar philo- uh, philosophy so they both help me like in all the ways uh, on the pitch and also off the pitch so like uh what to say they both are like really he- helpful <clears throat> yeah no and 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 we wish to see you continue to grow uh, in this season hero isl as well as beyond that nemel um you know we want to see you score more goals as well you know the kind of form that you had in the durand cup and uh, before we let you go shayu chetan has one more absolutely absolutely i think i think uh, nemel uh, uh, kindly kindly listen to me carefully so we oh, we we, we commented us we commented us often say i i often say during commentary that uh, football is the remedy for all the problems you face in your life football is the medicine for all the problems you face in your life is that true with your life because i know your life story can can you agree can you agree on that statement yes yes absolutely it's true <laughs> true yes yes yeah then one more one more question about one more question about your personal very personal question see amma umma or mother we we uh, for all of us mother is everything mother is the ultimate truth and uh, the the blessing of the mom can, cannot be replaced by anything in our life i still remember one article written by your mother that she taking you on her two wheeler riding kilometers to 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 to, to go to the academies oh. and i know she is an author also she read, she is a writer she is a journalist she is an author and one of the one of the books she written the headline of that book the name of that book is i want to fly high so is is you you as a son 
uh, who what, what, how much your mother inspires you till now she is like everything for me till now and in the future also so like uh, we have suffered a lot in the past but it's all my mom she was she's really strong and uh, without her i feel like i wouldn't have reached where i am right now no that's that's hard for me to hear nemel and uh, i'm sure that with the hard work that you're putting in and with the skill set that you have uh, you will reach more heights and you will fly as uh, as shayu kitten uh, referenced right. the, the title uh, but thank you so much for joining us uh, it, we're all looking right. forward to seeing you more on the pitch and and as more seasons of the hero isl do go on we want to see you more and more flying uh, your trade so thank you so much for joining us and all the best thank for the rest you. of the season nemel good luck nemel good luck good luck good luck my dear good luck thank you thank you shayata <laughs> well now's mohammed nemel uh, he's he's someone who really came to the fore during the durand cup and uh, we we do want to see him get more minutes do you think that that's around the corner for him as well at some point of time guys um yeah yeah i think when uh, initially derek perera took over he started him for a couple of games but mm-hmm. uh, here's the thing in the hero isl you've also got to there's a whole thing you have to continue performing but at the same time these minutes are going to see there's there's a level you have to get used to it we've seen players do well in the durand come into the hero isl and they take time it takes time adjusting even roshan got going after the first few games right yeah. and in nemel's case the position where he plays it's a position where um, decision making and and productivity matters a lot more right uh, you know in terms of creating opportunities and openings and it will come with time he's just 19 and it's very exciting but but you know there's there's this something about the way he controls the ball the touch the turn yeah. there's that mm-hmm. balance about him which i hope continues to you know get better and over a period of time the passing and the shooting and the decision making mainly yeah. i i'm sure derek will tell him you've got to make the right decision and right. and and that's going if that happens we have a player on our hands no doubt about that right uh, so time time to now dig into something that's really fresh in our memory from last night as well someone who made the decision to shoot from uh, behind <laughs> the halfway line and then reap the benefits and reap the fruits of that is alvaro vasquez and he went in to the history book scoring uh, like we mentioned earlier the longest goal in terms of distance scored in the history of the hero isl so why don't we just take a quick look back at the game from last night kbfc versus northeast united fc and we'll discuss it after that take a look and sent in and then cheeks it oh. well vasquez and straight into subhashish lines one up towards the far post cabras there Back into the area, Pereira Diaz, and there it is. Kerala Blasters finally find their goal. And Chunks landed on his right foot, but look at Vasquez. Vasquez goes for it. Oh, no way! No way! No way! Alvaro Vasquez has scored the goal of the season. Astronomical attempt. Corner comes in. And Cabra, oh, what a lovely flick! And oh, great take! What a shot! And what a goal from Irshad! But it might not count for anything in the end, in terms of points. You know, I think something that's uh, actually beautiful is that there was a there was an observation that was made after last night's game that North East United FC actually had uh, more Malayali players. than yeah, than right. players from the northeast uh, in their team and kerala blasters on the other hand had more players from the northeast in their team yeah. than than they did from kerala so i think in in a way it it sums up uh it 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 sums up how how diverse the indian super league is in, in one sense and it, it it sums up another thing where a good player is a good player doesn't matter which team you're really playing for so we'll go and dissect the game at large a bit later but i want to turn the attention back to the alvaro vasquez goal and take a look at it from all angles because i do have a bit of a controversial opinion which i will share with you after that but take a look at this vasquez goal in particular once again man advantage count not like that though vasquez goes for it oh no way no way no way alvaro vasquez he's not done it once he's not done it twice he's done it half a dozen times this boy has it's not the greatest strike in the world even because he's taken a bounce on the way into the net but he joins that elite club here 
in Hero Indian Super League of Cribiaro. And now it's that man, Vasquez. Take a bow, son. Right, so we've seen that goal now. We've seen it uh, a bunch of times since last night. So I will have it play once again without sound. Could the keeper have done better to save Alvaro Vasquez's shot? As great as the shot was, make no doubt about it. It, it, was, it was an attempt. But do you think the keeper should have done better over here? Uh, I don't know. Shaiji, why? Actually, why I want to know Shaiji yeah. Chetan's opinion on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Shaiji, why did yeah, you take that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have an, a clear opinion. There is a fun fact behind the, when we are seeing this visual, you, you people understand there is a clear fun fact also. Rafael right. Crivellaro scored almost a similar goal, almost from a similar mm. position, couple of seasons before. And goalkeeper was the same. Same, uh, Crivellaro also scored his goal against the same goalkeeper. Subhashish Roy Chaudhary. So, mm. see, when, when it's a basic thing of a goalkeeper to guard his post, even he is, he even the ball is not in his area. So, that is a key point in football. Here, there is a big question arises. Having, having seen him playing against Hyderabad and conceding five goals in, this, in that match. Question to Pulest also. Subhashish Roy is playing with an injury. Who knows? Only the team management knows. Subhashish Roy... Is he carrying an injury? The nation wants to know. <laughs> I, th I think you, you want to know more, Shaji Chetan. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, Pulas, do, do you have your two cents on that? I mean, we, we'll never know, will we? Uh, well, see, ev every goal, you can say the keeper could do better. But, you know, that, is, that was half a lob, half a knuckleball. The way it dipped and bounced yeah. in front of him. And, and I don't blame Subhashish for being, being high. The, the, uh, higher than where... where he was supposed to be mm. because they were pushing for an equalizer, right? Yeah. Um, so you, you, and he has a habit of coming up. He takes that risk. He knew that Vasquez has done it once. He tried, tried it with that other volley as well. So maybe Subhashish in his mind is saying, okay, yeah, he's tried it a couple of times. Surely he's not going to try it one more time. Yeah. That's what's going on in his mind. He's not thinking this is going to happen. There's no way he's thinking, oh, he's going to take that shot. Mm. Uh, yeah. Understandably, but, but, yeah, but the shot also, itself, the shot itself wasn't as as like like Shayu Chetan mentioned, it wasn't as perfect as Crivellero's shot as well. Crivellero's shot was harder to save. Yes, the it shot itself, hit, but it dipped right in front. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And even May said that it's not the greatest shot in the world. Hundred hmm. percent, yes. But the audacity, I think it's it's surprise. It's the goalkeeper is taken by surprise. Oh my God, you're going to do that to me again? Really? Yeah. You know that that's yeah. the whole thing. And and Vasquez is like, yes, I'm going to do that again. <laughs> but here, here one more yeah. point. See, when we are playing against a team, when we're playing against quality players, we have to understand, the defenders should understand, the goalkeeper should realize that, like you said, if a player has an audacity uh, of like this sort to score goals from distance, we have to respect him because he will try again. So I am out of, I'm going out of my area. There is every possible chance of him trying again. So here, Subhashish made a big mistake, I think, and no doubt. He's actually looking at uh, uh, Alvaro Vasquez. He is trying constantly. He had been trying yeah. for this goal from the beginning. Look at, uh, remember the shot against exactly. Mumbai City. Yeah, so yeah. in the yeah. same match also, he tried another shot. It was a long yeah. region, not from his own half. And uh, that was also too close. And that was a great shot, was wasn't it, Varun? Yes, exactly, that was like right. a really uh, good shot. And Shubhashish but, could have saved it because, you know, the distance was a lot. But uh, then again, if it's, you know, the ball is bouncing in front of the goalkeeper, it sometimes is tough, you know. It's kids sometimes, it's just taking a bounce. So, yes, so Shubhashish could have done better out there. Yeah. And, and lastly, Varun, on one point, Chavi Chitan, on one point that you mentioned about whether it, it was a mistake. At the end of the day, the coach sets his team up to play the way he wants the team to play. So, at the end of the day, if if you have the freedom from your manager or your coach saying that mm. you're allowed to be in that area and in that position during this phase of play. Yeah, exactly. You're right. And, and, if, and if you, if whatever happens from that point on, I'll take the blame. So that's, that's how some, some coaches also approach it. And, and Khalid Jamil looks and seems like a reasonable man, as I'm sure he is. At the same time, I'm sure Subhashish himself would be a bit... See, I think, I think right he thought time. it might go wide. I, I have, I think he right. thought it might go wide that my angles are covered. Right. right, it's just right. creeped in. It's just creeped in. Okay, and he thought, okay, the angles are covered. It's not going to go in. Surely, it's not going to go in. Yeah. But when you're backtracking like that after coming out of your area, you probably have yeah. just lost the angles a little bit. Right. Take right. it. It's see, there's a mistake, but you've got to exploit the mistake. Hmm. No, absolutely. And then 
all said and done this goal has gone down as one of the greatest goals that has been scored in the history of the hero isl and uh, greatness is subjective but what's objective is that it is a lo- it's the farthest out that's been scored yeah. so so it'll uh, unless and until we have someone maybe maybe a goalkeeper scoring from his own box who knows uh, this this record is not getting broken anytime or maybe soon. pulas playing the isl <laughs> or maybe pulas playing the isl but i don't I, I I think he's given up hopes of that happening a lot. Like, have haven't you, Pulas? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I just. I I, I have a. Who all are who all are done the commentary yesterday live? Varun, you did. Ah uh, no, I didn't do. Pulas, I was on the show. Yeah, I, that was me that you heard. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Suyash, so, yeah, ask him. Usko, what what he what what was the live comment on that goal? What what was it? What I mean, uh, go go for it, Pulas. Like, what was the what? live uh, comment on the goal? Uh, the live call. You just heard the live comment twice. I just said no way. I because I thought there's no way. I think I think Charlie ah, no no wants no you to. I think he wants you to emulate it once. More. Reproduction, reproduction. No, no, no. I'm not reproducing it. It's gone. The moment is gone. Go back, watch the highlights. But yeah, I said no way because I was like, no way, you're gonna do that again. I think that was just the, that was the thing. Like, really, are you gonna do that again? And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, absolutely. You know, yes, Jaitan. You know, you people. I, I, I am hundred percent sure you people not listening to the Malayalam commentary. But you I know what it. I, what I said. I heard, I heard it. I didn't understand a lot of it. Magnolia, but fire, Magnolia, fire. Magnolia Pacifica was kiss. See, Shai Ju sir is a sport, but uh, Pulas will need you to be a sport on the next show as well. You know, bro, 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 Suyash, bro, Suyash, Magnolia Pacifica was kiss. He said flower in Mexico, which is famous for fragrance. Ah, see, I mean, these these are the, I, at the start of the season as well. Shavi sir, you had given us a, a tidbit. I, I I I don't remember the exact fact, but we always love having you around here because we we do get to learn a lot about these little tidbits that you that you keep uh, serving up. So keep those coming. Uh, another historic occurrence that happened uh, at the start of uh, of of last week was the Kian the City hat trick, and uh, it's the perfect segue for me to bring up our Terra Virtua moment. of the week because we generally pick one goal as a moment but each goal that kian nasiri scored in that derby was worthy of being a moment in itself because first of all you've come on as a sub equalized in the derby you've gone one better by scoring the winner or what could have been the winner but then you've just absolutely put the nail in the coffin by scoring a third goal hat trick the first substitute to score a hat trick in the history of the hero isl fantastic stuff by kian nasiri so He is, of course, the hat trick in the Terra Virtua moment of the week. Take a look. Any touch, any kind of touch, she could have done the trick. Back into the area and back in. Oh, what a moment! What a moment for Yan Kian Nasiri! A historic goal for the son of Jamshed Nasiri, who's done it for SC Bengal in the past. By Alistair. Great ball inside! Oh, it clatters off the post and back in! Oh! Kian Nasiri, this is your night. You have the derby in your blood, and he's been gone's heartbreaker. His 18 game on begins a heartbeat, and these are moments in the derby that can make your heart race. Manveer. Himself to Indian football with a hat trick in the Kolkata derby. There is no better way. There will never be a better way to do that. And out of nowhere, a star has risen. Wow, wow! What a story! What a story! And and, and what struck me the most about those three finishes were all. Extremely clinical. Uh, which, which, in your opinion, was was the toughest finish out of the three? And I want to ask all three of you. So, Shahid Chetan, why don't you go for it first? The toughest goal out of the three that he scored, in your opinion? I think the first one. And and why why would that be? The he, he scored it's from a from a different angle. But the 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 the, the following the goal number two and three scored from right in front of the goal mouth. I think the first one he scored he have he has. 
not that much of time to think about what to do whether to pass whether to uh, go for a curving shot an angular one so right. he he was very quick to respond on that uh, thing and more important it was the goal that bring back atk mohan bagan into right. that match it was the turning point not that yeah. atrick goal atrick goal yeah. so the goal number 1 was the most important thing and the most difficult one to score yeah so let's what about you i think it was the second one it's because of the height that the ball is when you're like hitting it like that uh you it's very difficult to keep it down it's come off the post yeah. there's a reaction involved and i think that okay you equalize see it fell on his right foot uh, the first one obviously it you open up your that's the only option you open up your body and you put it into the far post but in the second one you're also mentally aware that if this goes in this is the winner it's the winner mm. it's the winner okay and the way it's come at that height there's some athletic prowess involved in that there is a physical reaction there's some uh you know it's just graceful also the way he's gone and hit mm. it just perfectly because you know if if you've played football you know that if you if that ball comes at that height you can slap it over the uh, over the bar very easily right, yeah. keep it down yeah. and smash it into the net to keep your head and get the winner uh, just after the rush of blood of that equalizer i think for mm. me the second one takes it and what about you varun uh i think the first goal i'll agree with uh, chetan whatever he said you know because the timing was tough they were like uh, trailing and then also they missed a penalty and uh, uh, for me if you want uh, to ask me like i would have loved to score the second one because it looked great but i think yeah. the first goal under the best pressure, looking goal right exactly but the yeah, first yeah. one you know the angle was tough and he placed it and you know the defenders running around in front of him trying to press him but he still did it and uh, derbies are you know matches where the players get an uh, chance an opportunity to become that hero so yes the uh, the latest derby hero right now is kian nasiri because of that hat trick yeah. yeah and varun just lastly i want to bring up uh, sc is bengal as well because they were on they were on the losing side that day but they had a fantastic comeback in the next game that they played as well namte scoring uh, that equalizer so how much character did sc is bengal have to score uh, that goal and, and and just generally play and make a comeback in that game if we could have a a, a quick one minute on that a uh, superb I, i thought the comeback was brilliant and you know in the derby also uh, the red and gold brigade were like uh, superb you know they were they played well maybe they conceded that hat trick uh, because of kian but uh, they were superb in the derby also and they kept the same momentum in the next game and especially the equalizer you know is bengal means you know you fight and lorai basically lorai means in uh, yeah. bengali fight so you yeah. keep on fighting till the end and the equalizer was just amazing you know in the air superb. he stayed there yeah. and he like uh, like was kind of sleeping in the air and he yeah. moved his head yeah. flicked it and then the equalizer came That's, in yeah the result of a thousand jump squats right <laughs> yeah no plus have, have you tried uh, doing that as well plus yeah, are you <laughs> I, knew like, this was coming. i knew it look at your straight face the straight face that you keep when you ask that is just unbelievable i knew it uh, <laughs> no but see once again i think when you ask somebody about the goals for me uh, we sometimes forget that footballers are athletic specimens they put a lot of work behind mm. getting that mm. one moment right and i'm sure namte has done a lot of training to get that right to mm. flex the muscles like that to jump to that yeah. height to do a knee to chest you know at that minute and mm. get the header right is just wonderful uh, athleticism for me true yeah well then let's check out what uh, sc is bengal's next fixture is we'll just have the upcoming fixtures up on the screen right about now and uh, in addition to sc is bengal we have a bunch of other cracking matches as well jamshedpur fc versus kerala blasters i'm sure shall you take us looking forward to that but hyderabad fc versus atk mohan bagan as well a cracker of a game how much are you looking forward to that one chetan which one are you looking forward to more both the matches you, you said you said exactly the the, the two big matches yeah. so according to me uh, yeah hyderabad atk mohan bagan match is coming up uh, uh, next week coming week that will be the that will be that will be the high profile game which is going to happen in the coming week because for atk mohan bagan they have to sweat it out to 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 get the betterment in that game no doubt it is it is not going to be easy for atk mohan mm. bagan to came over hyderabad easily in that game but i am i am i am i am waiting i am waiting eagerly for kerala blasters versus jamshedpur match also because uh, kerala blasters should keep the momentum going and we are still looking at that cut off mark of uh, getting into that 30 point mark which is yeah. usually the cut off mark for the season of the hero indian super league playoffs yeah Thirty-one. Uh, uh, Varun begs to differ. Thirty. Any calculation behind that, Varun? Is it, is that your own calculation? No. Last season it was thirty-one. You know, I think FC Goa was the team who qualified for the playoffs at the fourth place, and they had thirty-one points. Yeah. But this season it's a lot tighter. Also, it's tight. Right. Not, it's 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 a lot tighter. And we but, thought last season was tight. But Varun. Yeah. But but mm. Varun. Basically, it is thirty for the past couple of seasons. Okay. Yeah. 
no 30 31 we'll see at the end of the day it's all about who makes the the top four doesn't really matter how many points they do it with and i'm sure there's a lot of teams still gunning for that yeah. uh, most of the teams did play uh, in the last week and uh, as we wrap up another let's football live episode this saturday i just want uh, uh, i just want your final thoughts yeah shall you take on uh, uh, with all due love and respect to all all of you sitting here uh, no discussion regarding football and uh, especially today without uh, uh, will be end without mentioning two iconic players two of the greatest footballers like pulas mentioned the athletic specimen of the entire footballing fraternity of the world to the two who de- redefined the dynamics of football happy 37th birthday to cristiano ronaldo and happy 30th birthday to jaima neymar junior on behalf of hero indian super league digital <laughs> well yeah. that i cannot top that exit i cannot absolutely top it so on that note we're going to leave you with the goals of the week uh, have a good week guys and see you next week as well on saturday at 2 pm on the let's football live show see you soon take care see you